Da dun dun da dun Da dun dun da dun Da dun dun da dun Did did you all go watch Terminator 2? I'm telling you that movie is always playing somewhere on, on cable. Terminator 2 is the kind of movie that like you, you own, right? But when it's on, you have to like sit down and watch it. Like it's it's just so fucking good. Everything about it. Story, the action. I had this idea that like T Pain is kinda like a Terminator and maybe he was sent back from the future where like auto tune was the only music sung by the robots, right? And he was sent back by Birdman to help his son, Little Wayne, to uh, help come out with the Carter Three, you know, and make himself one of the biggest uh, hip hop musicians of the time. And uh, then the machines were like, "No, nah, we can't have that." And they send back Akon, who was also like an auto tuning sounding robot. You remember Akon, right? And he was sent back to destroy Little Wayne, but. Instead of that, he just did his own music thing, you know, and he's just helping third world countries with electricity. I don't know, singing with Gwen Stefani. Uh, yeah, I had written that down somewhere here, the whole concept. Nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter, no, because I got you. Did you see um, those climate protesters are starting to, like, mess with more paintings and shit, like... They went to an Andy Warhol soup can paintings. And instead of throwing soup like they did with the other ones, uh, they just kind of like got markers and scribbled all over them while gluing their hands to the wall. Like, who the fuck is organizing them, organizing them, you know? Like, none of this shit is making any sense, narratively speaking. Why would you throw soup at Van Gogh and there's this scribble on Andy Warhol, you know? Like, right now I'm doing that meme of Jackie Chan where he's confused you remember that old meme that black and white one and you know all these paintings are just behind like a thick protective glass so it's not doing anything it's just being annoying it's it, literally what are you doing like go become a scientist and help the world the right way although um seeing all that shit doesn't make me want to tell Alexa to add soup to my grocery list uh I do love a good tomato soup uh, with a grilled cheese or some Cheez-Its. Ooh, man, I dip those in there. Or a broccoli and cheese soup. God, anything with cheese. Fucking love cheese. Uh, or a clam chowder. Yeah, man, soup. soup's pretty fucking good. It comes in clutch for sure. Speaking of soup, uh, is Nick Cannon just shooting his load in any woman that gets close to him? Like his... His DNA soup, right? That <laughs> makes sense with the transition. Uh, yeah, so apparently he has 10 kids total with two more currently on the way. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, why does anyone want that many kids? Like, uh, honestly, how can you evenly devote your love to that many children? Like, mathematically speaking, it's impossible. You're basically giving percentages of love to that many kids at that point you know like in my family I was a middle child right and I had my older sister who would get all the money for college and the brand new car paid blah blah blah. and then I was in the middle so I had to pay my own college and I got a used Mazda protege uh, which by the way that was a standard car I don't know if y'all know how to drive stick shift I suggest you learn because that shit's going to make a comeback eventually when the machines take over, mark my words. Also, it's just more fun to, to drive, for real. And my little brother, he really didn't get shit. So I guess, like, trickle-down economics really doesn't work for 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 uh, families, you know? Specifically in the lower and the middle class. Yeah, I could see Nick Cannon, you know, having all the money in the world to give to all 12 of these children. But there's no way he can spread himself... And his personal love while also balancing his commitments with work as well as all of his other appointments of coming into more bitches to save the human race. I don't know the sound of it. I don't know. The sound of it's all wacky to me. But why don't you tell me in the comments <laughs> that don't exist how many kids is uh, is fine or did China have it right with its one child policy? 
China, China, China. That's cool. I like the way Trump says China. Warm blood, 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 warm blood. I love how political people get with corporations, you know, like, oh, they're they're not uh, representing all cultures or all uh, genders or whatever until we start talking about Chick-fil-A. Like Chick-fil-A is openly giving money to, you know, Republicans and they don't do any like gay rights or LBGTQ type shit. But the food there is just so fucking good that the and the employees are just so nice that everyone just turns a blind eye to it, you know, like, I don't know, I'm sure gay people, I've seen a gay guy always eating Chick-fil-A, he's like, no, nah, I love it, I don't care if they hate gays, you know, <laughs> me personally, I've never got the hype for Chick-fil-A lunch, uh, like the chicken sandwiches, and before you, like, talk shit to me, I'm just talking about their lunch, like, have you tried their breakfast from there, holy shit, the chicken biscuit from there, it's so, it's goddamn fucking good. Uh, what you do is you go there right before 1030 because that's when their breakfast is, ends at 1030 like fucking Nazis and you grab yourself two chicken biscuits with a large sweet tea which I haven't talked about their sweet tea nine nine times out of ten it's so fucking good it's perfect and you buy the two chicken biscuits you don't need that little hash brown little things because those are just stupid and tell them to give you packets of honey like, and they have the real honey in there, not that fake honey wannabe bullshit, you know? So, you get the chicken biscuit, open it up, pour, uh, open open up the honey packets and pour at least two to three uh, honey on top of the biscuit. Close it, I'm, I'm sorry, on top of the chicken. Close the biscuit back up and then you eat that shit while washing it down with that large sweet tea. God, that's a perfect breakfast. Almost as good as the brisket hotcakes meal. Probably second best, you know? And... What even trips me out more about Chick-fil-A is that, you know, they're always closed on Sunday. Like, dude, imagine how much money they would make if they would just open up on the day of the Sabbath. Like, God, especially with football and uh, pay-per-views and shit. All we can do is pray, though, right? Uh, You want to hear my Adam Sandler impression? I'm I'm trying to remember if I... Ooh-wee, I'm Adam Sandler. You know? Before uh, Adam Sandler started making like these shit movies for Netflix with this, with a shit tons of money, you know, he made a bunch of good movies. I- I'm sure you you've heard of them, you know. Of course, I-, I like Happy Gilmore, The Water Boy, and I'm a firm believer that The Water Boy is the best sports movie that has ever been and will ever exist. Not Friday Night Lights or or Radio or whatever you fools think is great. Water Boy is the best. Fucking Gatorade. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Water sucks. Gatorade's better. Uh, I have the same thoughts with Sister Act too, being one of the best, if not the best, religious movies. Man, Whoopi Goldberg used to be the shit too, huh? Years ago. Uh, that and uh, what the fuck what was the other movie that she did? Oh, Ghost. Gosh, it's fucking good in Ghost. It's Autumn Sunrise. Nah. Anyways, yeah, there's a couple of movies that you may not have heard from Adam Sandler that I think are, like, really good. So first, he had made a musical cartoon called Eight Crazy Nights, and it's about Jewish, uh, I don't know, Jewish families and basketball, and it's kind of raunchy, but, you know, I'm all about musicals, so it was great, and it's just funny if you like that old-school raunchy Adam Sandler shit. Also, um, I've actually yet to see Uncut Gems, but I hear it's really good, and everyone's like, oh, man, Adam Sandler can do drama, you know, but, I mean, he used to do dramatic shit way back when. There was this movie he did uh, called Punch Drunk Love, which, what do you know, I looked up the year, it's in 2002 also, wow, all these crazy, all these good movies are, crazy good movies are in 2002, but yeah, uh, it was called Punch Drunk Love, and he plays like an autistic dude who is trying to get with a girl while being harassed by some owners of a mattress store that are exploiting him for money because he called them for a sex hotline. And then also uh, he's buying a shit ton of pudding to exploit a frequent flyer miles deal. I don't know. Uh-uh. Uh, check it out. It's got, it has a very indie vibes to it, you know, back when Spanglish was really good too. I was thinking about that. Although 
he was kind of funny in that one. I wouldn't say, uh, I wouldn't count that as like very dramatic, but it, it does get pretty dramatic, especially with, I think, uh, Tia Leone. She, she, she cries a lot. She's, she's a crier. And uh, I can't judge Little Nicky because I've never seen it. And I know you're probably saying, well, you've never seen Little Nicky. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen that I should see, I guess, you know. Uh, another one everyone tells me is Night at the Roxbury. I've never seen it. Goonies, I've never seen it. Yeah, Goonies, I know. I'm a piece of shit, whatever. I feel like a piece of shit, though. And, and not just from, you know, you hating on me, but I ate a whole pint of peanut butter cup ice cream. And I was really craving cookies and cream. And I'm not sure why I didn't fucking buy it. But, God, I wish I had some, like... Uh, cookies and cream is a pretty damn good ice cream, you know? Uh, as far as dessert, of course, carrot cake is king. But I'd have to say banana pudding and vanilla wafers is probably the best dessert, too. Uh, can you name a better duo than banana pudding and vanilla wafers? It's kind of like an Asian guy being with a white chick. That, that's funny, right? That's a, that's a good joke. It's very, it's kind of racist. Call them banana pudding even those. Anyways, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, if you didn't get to watch Terminator, go watch an old Adam Sandler movie. Or, uh, yeah, or Uncut Gems, I guess. It's probably still on Netflix. Uh, try to wake up early this week before Sunday and go grab yourself some Chick-fil-A breakfast. Tell them... Tell them I sent you. <laughs> like that's gonna fucking be anything. No, use your rewards app. That that'll fucking that'll get you something. And well, however you can get a hold of Nick Cannon, tell him to slow the fuck down. Like genetically speaking, too, he's not even like the best specimen to you know keep spreading his genes and create some sort of master race. So yeah, he needs to he needs to be knocked down. You know. But that's it. Yeah. Uh, have a great night and take care. Bye.